And now I'm here with Norbert Haug, our DTM expert. Now, um, Norbert, did we see the return of the Mercedes-Benz star here at the Norris Ring? I mean, one thing's for sure, Robert Wickens really did show a perfect race. Well, today was very, very dominating, like uh, quite often in the past, probably even a step more domination than we saw before from Mercedes on this particular racetrack. But this racetrack is so special, I mean, I would not make the conclusion and say uh, it's going to be the same on every racetrack right now. Uh, the proof will be the next one, the, um, the Moscow Raceway. This is a challenging track, probably a kind of a combination between Hungary and, uh, and Oschersleben. So a real racetrack. BMW will be stronger, Audi will be stronger, and uh, Mercedes, if they can catch up until then, then they are in good shape even for the fight uh, in the championship. But I have my doubts that uh, you can achieve so much aerodynamic downforce in that period of time, but let's wait and see here. But no, I've got to ask one question. Christian Vitoris, how unfortunate was that and how can something like that happen? Well, sometimes, uh, you know, you if you are in that situation, you, you kind of hate racing as much as you like it. I mean, a couple of laps to go. Such a, such a nice drive, such a fantastic guy. I mean, another 18 points uh, would have been very, very good for him after. And he, and he would have been in the middle of the championship fight, at least after an orders ring. I know that from my career. I mean, sometimes it's really tough, tough, tough. But you know, the, the, the good ones, they they make it survive and they, you know, go for the next one. And that's the only thing I can I can advise uh, Christian with. I mean, that's that's what he has to do, and I'm sure he's strong enough to do so. I'm sure. Thank you so much, Norbert Haug. And now we're looking forward to the next race in Moscow. <laughs>